Hey everyone, what's going on? Greg here from TM Blast. I want to go over how I optimize my Bing Places for Business account. Um, if you don't know what that means, I'm going to leave a link in the description so you can see how to sync Google My Business directly into Bing Places for Business. It's very easy, but from my experience, you're only getting about 70% of the optimization. So there is more things you need to do within Bing um, to show up. What I mean real quick is that if you if you are in Bing, you search for TM Blast, you're going to get the map pack list in the very top and also the knowledge panel on the right-hand side, very similar to Google. Same thing with Google. If you use Microsoft Advertising, similar to if you use Google Ads, you can do a preview for your keyword. See if your uh, service shows up in and around your, uh, your location. So I put in the word SEO service in the town next door to me and I can see TM Blast shows up there. So this is the dashboard. Uh, the first thing I always do for any client that I take over and I sync the changes from Google into Bing, I click on edit. So edit is gonna open up right over here. And the first thing I always do is make sure that your website is featured. Sometimes it doesn't carry over. Next, I go to categories. Now this is where, it, again, it doesn't always carry over from Google. So if it doesn't, um, or if you can't really find the category, click on browse. And you want to try to get as close as you can to the category that best represents your business. So you can obviously do a search right over here. You can click on any of these uh, triangles to open up all the different categories. The main thing is that your first um, your first section here is going to be your primary category, very similar to Google. Uh, one thing that I always do is I maximize my des uh, describe your business box. I think Google has up to 750 or so characters, give or take. Um, so I try to maximize that within Google and that carries over into the sync changes as well. One thing too, is that Bing doesn't have an area that allows you to list off all your services, uh, service like locations like Google, where Google, you can have up to 20. So for Bing, I try to list off some of those places directly into the description. Um, now, additional business information uh, details, you can showcase your business address, which is something that I do contact information. Now you might say, hey, I have a LinkedIn and Instagram. How do I add that? I'm going to get to that. Uh, it doesn't come up by default and a lot of people forget about how to do this. Um, photos right over here. My main takeaway is that you want to have a photo that is your logo. So simply browse, upload that image and then tag it as the logo. Don't just leave it as other. You want to tag it as the logo. And then finally, the hours, just make sure that they match what Google says, especially with the holidays. I've noticed this so many times where people will update their hours for Google and then forget to do it within Bing. And it's kind of that catch 22 where Bing wants to show relevant data for users. Um, but sometimes when you, when you Bing, you know, HVAC near me or, or plumber near me or anything else like that, it's going to come up as they're open, but it's just because they didn't take their changes into from Google into Bing and it causes all these issues. So just make sure you're doing that uh, as often as you possibly can, especially before the holidays. All right. So we're back in the main dashboard, assuming you already saved all this. I want to show one thing that I know a lot of people forget, and that is the add advanced information tab right over here. So what I mean by that is you can click right on it and it has the social profile section. This is where you can add in your LinkedIn, your Instagram, and your YouTube URL. So what I mean by that is that if you go back to Bing, search for TM Blast, these are the social profiles right over here. They're not going to carry over from Google, even with the sync. So just make sure you're going through that. You want to make the um, knowledge panel as big as possible. Click on the pencil icon right over here. And let me move this. You can see this a little bit better. Click on this. It's going to pop up with LinkedIn and uh, Tumblr and Pinterest and all that. So basically you have it. You're going to... Um, include the link to it. It's pretty easy, but again, you want to make it as big as possible. Amenities too. Um, you click on the pencil icon. For me, I chose free parking because it is free parking at my business location. So that's actually important because people have visited. Um, but if you have other things too, like cash only, Wi-Fi, whatever else you want to include, include it to make it as relevant as you can. Let me go back one just to show you something kind of cool. All right. So my last thing I want to share with Bing places for business that you can um, you can add a deal or discount. Again, this doesn't carry over from Google. So what you want to do is, again, if somebody is searching for your brand name, especially with Cyber Monday today and all the holidays and everything else like that, you want to include a deal if you have one, of course. So click on type of deal. You can go to discount or you can do free. So you can do like a preview section. So I can say, you know, 20% uh, so get 20% off max. Let's make up another $1,000, you know, 
And as you can see here, if you search for TM Blast, that offer deal is going to show up in the knowledge panel on the right hand side. It can even show up in the map pack listing as well, or, or even Bing Maps too. So if you have an opportunity to share a deal, especially for you know Cyber Monday and um, Christmas coming up and the holidays, just in general, if you have a deal, you can showcase that directly into Bing. It's going to lead to more engagement because people can then see this uh, this type of offer. Uh, and they can interact with your business by calling it and obviously visiting the website. So uh, that's pretty much it from a Bing places optimization. Again, we went over things like you want to sync your changes as often as you can from Google into Bing, but you want to then go through the Bing edit settings, make sure you're adding the categories that are most applicable to your business, add the photos, tag it, one of them as a logo, make sure your hours are accurate, and then go into the um, additional uh, areas that I showed, add your social icons, make that icon, that knowledge panel even bigger. And then finally add those discounts directly because these things do not carry over from Google. So anyway, if you guys have any questions, uh, feel free to reach out. You can go to my website, tmblast.com, uh, or you can simply leave a comment on this video. So I hope this was helpful. Let me know if you guys have any questions and as always have a good rest of your day.